Could Russia's Pac DA beat America's B 21 Raider? In a groundbreaking development, Russia's Pac DA stealth bomber emerges as a formidable contender in the realm of strategic aviation. Boasting a payload capacity exceeding 30 tons, double that of America's B 21 Raider, the Pac DA is poised to redefine aerial warfare. With a range of up to 12,000 kilometers and an endurance of 30 hours, this aircraft signifies a monumental leap in Russia's military capabilities. Meanwhile, the United States presents the B-21 Raider, developed by Northrop Grumman. Designed with a flying wing configuration, the B-21 emphasizes stealth, flexibility, and a range of approximately 11,000 kilometers. With an estimated payload capacity of 15 tons, it is set to replace aging bombers like the B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit, aiming for operational readiness in the mid-2020s. The PAC-DA's substantial payload capacity allows it to carry an array of advanced weaponry, including nuclear-capable Cage-102 cruise missiles and hypersonic weapons. Its design features a horizontal blended wing body configuration, enhancing its stealth capabilities. However, some renderings indicate small vertical wingtips, which could potentially affect its radar signature. In contrast, the B-21 Raider is equipped with cutting-edge stealth technology, enabling it to penetrate sophisticated enemy air defenses. Its open architecture design facilitates the integration of emerging technologies, ensuring adaptability to evolving threats. The B-21 is also expected to be armed with advanced weaponry, including the AGM-183A hypersonic missile, enhancing its strike capabilities. Production and deployment are critical factors in this comparison. The B-21 Raider is progressing through its development stages, with multiple aircraft already in production. The U.S. Air Force plans to acquire a significant number of B-21s to ensure a robust and modern strategic bomber fleet. Conversely, the PAC-DA's future remains uncertain. Russia's defense industry faces challenges, including economic sanctions and technological constraints which may impede the mass production of the PAC-DA. While prototypes may emerge, the likelihood of deploying a substantial fleet of PAC-DA bombers in the near future is questionable. Strategically, the introduction of the B-21 Raider is poised to enhance the U.S. deterrence posture, providing a versatile platform capable of responding to various global threats. Its advanced technologies and planned production scale underscore a commitment to maintaining air superiority. In Russia's case, while the PAC-DA represents an effort to modernize its strategic bomber force, practical challenges may limit its impact. Without a clear path to mass production and deployment, the PAC-DA may not significantly alter the strategic balance. In conclusion, while the PAC-DA showcases impressive specifications, its operational future remains uncertain. The B-21 Raider, with its advanced design and clear production trajectory, stands as a formidable component of the U.S. military arsenal. The coming years will reveal how these developments influence global strategic dynamics. Thank you for joining us in this in-depth comparison of Russia's PAC-DA and America's B-21 Raider. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more insightful content on military technology and defense.